What's up, YouTube? This is Iota Bold. We're back for a second episode. And just in time because we got a launch date. Yep, Shimmer Network set to launch September 28th. That's this month. Uh, on the day of this, I'm recording on the 15th. So in about two weeks, we'll see that network launch. And uh, I feel like this is a great video to do a, a, a quick overview of what the, the Shimmer Network is and why this date could be so important for the crypto space and possibly um, developments with real world use case and why this could be so important. All right, let's get into it. So in short, the Shimmer Network is a canary network where many of the new experimental features can be battle tested before making their way onto the IOTA's main net. Now, if you're not familiar with what a staging network is, uh, you can think of the relationship between Kusama and Polkadot. Uh, otherwise known as a canary network where features are battle tested looking for flaws or issues before they are brought over to the overall main net. So it'll be a main net in its own right, but its purpose for now is to be an innovation ground before being solidified onto IOTA. So things are getting really exciting. IOTA recently released the first Stardust and Shimmer compatible versions of IOTA smart contracts. These include extended uh, EVM support, that's Ethereum Virtual Machine, enhanced performance, mainnet compatibility, and much more. In this video, we'll be going through uh, what those other features are and why they're so exciting. So let's get into some of the core features of the network. NFTs. Shimmer Stardust upgrade for the first time allows you to mint and transfer custom tokens and NFTs on the base layer fearlessly. NFTs can own other NFTs, custom or native tokens, and they can act as their own wallets. An easy way to illustrate this is by thinking of a video game character. The character can have individual skins, clothes, or items that are all owned by that character. With IOTA native assets, each, each of those clothing assets or pieces of gear can be their own NFT. It can be owned by that character that is also an NFT. This opens the opportunity for users to sell or transfer these items to others, allowing for new interactions, marketplaces, and opportunities. Output types or UTXOs. With the recent Stardust upgrade, this brought many unique output types that allow for more custom and complex transaction logic, such as time lock unlock conditions. This prevents the output from being unlocked until the time lock deadline is met. Why is it so important? Because you can precisely time smart contract requests with it. As soon as the deadline is over, the smart contract chain picks up and executes the request. Also, the new expiration feature of outputs makes it possible for the return address to reclaim an output after a given expiration time has been passed. That means sending a transaction to a wrong address, don't worry. The tokens will bounce back into your wallet after a set time. Native tokens. With, I, with the Shimmer network, there's no need to build bridges, no fees to transfer between L2, uh, layer twos. Any layer two asset can be wrapped as an layer one asset and then fearlessly transfer it to an address under the control of another L2 chain. So any layer two smart contract chains can utilize the base layer one as a trustless fearless bridge between other L2 chains. So let's touch on these smart contracts. With this new version, it has, it has extended EVM support. That means porting over your existing Ethereum virtual machine smart contract will allow it to access the additional features that IOTA smart contracts offer. The IOTA wiki lays it out pretty well. Because smart contracts do not run on a single computer, but on many validators, a network of smart contracts can only process so many smart contracts at once, even if the software has been written optimally. This means smart contracts are expensive to execute and do not scale well on a single blockchain, often resulting in congested networks and costly fees for, ex for executing functions on smart contracts. By allowing many blockchains executing smart contracts to run in parallel and communicate with each other, IOTA smart contracts solve the scalability problem. One cool feature that it allows is unpredictable random numbers without needing an oracle. So say you have a betting platform and it needs random numbers, you can access that with, within that smart contract toolbox. For gas fees, with the added functionality to the governance contract, the chain owner can decide on what token the fees are charged. That means it can be in Shimmer or can later on can be in IOTA or any native asset that they choose. They can decide how many tokens are charged per gas unit and where the collected fees will end up. It can be a ratio between chain owner and other validators. 
With no miners, there's also no MEV or miner extracted value. This allows you to build dApps that won't be taken advantage of by bad actors trying to front run your transactions. I hope that gave a decent overview of what Shimmer is and why it's such a major upgrade and why it sets it apart from other protocols. That fact, the fact that they're able to get this packed into a single protocol is amazing and miles ahead of majority of current protocols on the market. And I'm not the only one that sees this. Akadis, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, recently announced this on the Twitter page. They're using IOTA to build future solutions for their customers. They're utilizing IOTA tokenization, IOTA smart contracts, IOTA identity, and IOTA streams. Akadis is part of the ADECO group, which is Europe's second largest engineering service provider. And let's see what they had to say about IOTA. Here they say, with the international and diverse development and implementation capabilities of Akadis, the, the possibilities of the entire market for the introduction of industry 4.0 solutions based on distributed ledger technologies such as IOTA are multiplied in one fell swoop. So to me, it seems IOTA provides all that they need uh, to provide their customers with the industry 4.0 needs. There's no need for other protocols. And further down, they say, from planning to implementation of the application model, Akadis offers the necessary knowledge and capacity for successful project, project execution. The system integrators experience in the, digitally, in the digitally leading industry segments of discrete production, automotive, aerospace, and rail lead to efficient interaction of process, under, process understanding and IT expertise. On this basis, we can support companies in all sizes in the implementation of DLT solutions and also handle projects holistically. So overall, this tells me that customers are coming to Akadis requesting for more solutions geared towards Industry 4.0 and instead of them searching for multiple different protocols to implement for one-off solutions, they need one that allows, to, that allows them to fully integrate a wide variety of needs that can be passed down to their customers and to the end user. So we see how businesses could be using IOTA within the tech stack to create new products, but what type of real world use case could this lead to? Like what type of products could you realistically see within the real world? Um, I found this paper that really puts it in, into perspective about what this could really mean and why Shimmer smart contracts are so important specifically. So check this out. Uh, this is a paper by the uh, Turku Intelligent Embedded and Robotic Systems Lab that's in the University of Turku in Finland. Came out a few days ago. Uh, this was August 29th of this year, 2022. Uh, the title of the paper is Partition Tolerant and Byzantine Tolerant Decision Making for Distributed Robotic Systems with IOTA in ROS2. Um, ROS2 is the um, is a set of software libraries and tools for building robot applications that, uh, okay, so they're using, they're comparing IOTA's network with uh, Ethereum's network using the ROS2 system, all right? And I just wanna bring your attention to one of these, to a few statements here. This is one that's very important, check this out. Multiple works in the literature already show the potential of blockchain technology for managing Byzantine behavior or consensus in swarms of robots. In contrast to the majority of Ethereum-based systems, IOTA has already been identified as a solution to address these issues, but smart contracts have not been available until very recently. Hmm, <laughs> I think we're getting on to something. I think we're about to cross a new threshold, okay? Now, I also wanna bring your attention down to this, to this diagram here below. Uh, I'll place the link to this paper in, my in the description just so you can have the time to uh, look at it yourself as well. They go into details about what Shimmer is, what a WASP node is uh, for their, for their uh, experiment. And take a, look, take a look at this diagram, all right? It's showing, uh, look, layer one, IOTA, Tango blocks, parallel transactions, go Shimmer nodes, these are the squares. And then layer two, IOTA blockchains anchored to layer one nodes, WASP nodes or committees. Those are the black squares, these small squares throughout the, the chain here. Now it's basically showing how different committees are connected to the Tango at the same time and communicating. Um, they've got a little magnifying glass showing what metadata, metadata and the uh, anchors um, are connecting to those nodes, correct? Um, connect to those nodes, right? Uh, and I think that's really cool. Uh, I'm not a coder, I'm not a developer or anything like that, so I can't give you the ins and outs of what this really means, but I think that gives a good uh, layman's terms view of what's actually going on with the Tango and how it's communicating. And that's so important, that's so cool. 
and I'll just read this conclusion pair and I'll just read this conclusion paragraph. Um, like I said, I'll put the link in the, in the description so you can read it on your own time. But check this out. Uh, this paper proposes a framework for, for partition tolerant decision making processes in multi robot systems. Smart contracts that incorporate the mentioned constraints are split into two contracts on IOTA smart contract platform, which tolerates network partitioning. Furthermore, we demonstrate how IOTA's two layer structure and ROS2 can be applied to a multi robot system in a novel architectural, de architectural design. In order to demonstrate the partition tolerant framework and the proposed architecture, we chose a distributed mapping problem for a proof of concept. The distributed mapping task was first simulated in the gazebo with eight robots. We then tested our, di our, distrib we then tested our distributed mapping uh, smart contracts in a, in a real world scenario and compared the results to a baseline Ethereum implementation. Our results demonstrate how network partitioning impacts distributed decision making outcomes in both cases, with only the IOTA based implementation being able to showcase both Byzantine tolerant and partition tolerant behavior. So I don't know about you, but that got me so bullish when I read it. So I don't I don't know the full implications of what this study means. I know that when it comes to automated robots and drones, that could be good or bad, depending on who's using that technology. But what I do know is that this sounds like very solid industry validation. And when you're dealing with protocols uh, and when you're dealing with um, technology, uh, you want the participants within that within that field to test it and give that go ahead they want you want to see positive things from within the people from within that industry from people that are dealing with those problems on a day-to-day -day basis so i'm pretty much just gonna leave it at that <laughs> uh, i encourage you to do your own research uh read through the paper when you have the time uh and man we're in for a wild ride let's get it let's get it it's shimmy time baby let's all hit the shimmy <laughs> all right y'all take it easy